Ever wondered how one man could challenge the established order of the universe and reshape our understanding of the cosmos? That man was Nicholas Copernicus. Born in the 15th century, this Polish astronomer dared to propose a theory that was nothing short of revolutionary. He envisioned a universe where the Earth was not the center, but merely one of many planets revolving around the Sun. This heliocentric model, as we now call it, flew in the face of centuries-old beliefs and caused a seismic shift in our perception of the universe. But who was this audacious thinker who dared to question the status quo? What drove him to look beyond the accepted truths of his time? And how did his groundbreaking ideas influence the world we know today? These are the questions that make Nicholas Copernicus an enigma worth exploring. Join us as we journey back in time to explore the extraordinary life of Nicholas Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus, born on February 19, 1473, in Torun, Poland, was destined to change our perception of the universe. Born into a well-to-do merchant family, young Copernicus was the youngest of four siblings. With his father's passing when he was just 10 years old, his maternal uncle, Lucas Watsonrode, a bishop of the Catholic Church, took him under his wing. Bishop Watsonrode was determined to provide for his nephew's education and future, and it was under his guidance that Copernicus was introduced to the world of academia. Copernicus's early education took place in the Cathedral School of Hloklavek, where the young lad demonstrated a keen intellect, particularly in mathematics and the classics. His thirst for knowledge led him to the Krakow Academy, where he immersed himself in the studies of the humanities, but it was the celestial bodies that truly fascinated him. He would spend countless nights gazing up at the stars, sketching the patterns they made against the night sky. He was intrigued by the mysteries they held, the stories they told, and the questions they posed. It was during these formative years at the Krakow Academy that the seeds of his astronomical interest were firmly planted. Upon completion of his studies at the Krakow Academy, Copernicus was sent by his uncle to Italy to study law at the University of Bologna. But it was the allure of the stars that called out to him. He began attending lectures by the famous astronomer Domenico Maria Novara da Ferrara. It was under Novara's tutelage that Copernicus's interest in astronomy blossomed into a full-fledged passion. Back in Poland, his fascination with the cosmos didn't wane. He continued his observations and started developing his revolutionary ideas about the Earth and its place in the universe. His early inklings of a heliocentric model of the universe began to take shape. Little did anyone know this curious young man was about to challenge the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Copernicus's thirst for knowledge led him to the University of Krakow, where his fascination with astronomy began to take root. Here. Under the ancient arches of this prestigious institution, he delved into the mysteries of the cosmos, his mind always reaching for the stars. At the University of Krakow, Copernicus was introduced to the works of the Greek astronomer Ptolemy, whose geocentric model of the universe placed the Earth at its center. But as Copernicus studied, he found himself troubled by inconsistencies in Ptolemy's model. The stars and planets didn't move as they should if indeed the Earth was the center of all things. This led Copernicus to question the established wisdom. He began to formulate a revolutionary theory, one that would turn the universe as it was known on its head. He proposed a heliocentric model, a universe where the Sun, not the Earth, was at the center. Copernicus was not the first to propose a heliocentric model, but he was the first to provide a comprehensive mathematical system that could explain the movements of the celestial bodies in relation to the Sun. His model offered simpler explanations for the retrograde motion of planets and the changes in the apparent distances of the stars. However, the implications of this theory were profound and controversial. It challenged the prevailing religious and philosophical beliefs of the time, to suggest that the Earth was not at the center of the cosmos was tantamount to heresy. Yet Copernicus was undeterred. He believed in the power of observation, calculation and reason over long-held beliefs. His work was a testament to the transformative power of ideas, and it laid the foundation for a scientific revolution. His heliocentric model was eventually accepted and refined by later astronomers, forever changing the way we understand our place in the cosmos. Against all odds, Copernicus dared to imagine a universe where the Earth was not at the center. 
His courage and curiosity continue to inspire us, reminding us that knowledge is a journey, not a destination. It's a journey that requires us to question, to explore, and most importantly, to dream. The publication of De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium marked the dawn of a new era in astronomy. This magnum opus, penned by Nicolaus Copernicus, was nothing short of revolutionary. It proposed a heliocentric model of the universe where the Sun, not the Earth, was at the center. This was a radical departure from the prevailing geocentric model which placed Earth at the center of the universe. The initial response to Copernicus's work was one of shock and disbelief. For centuries, humanity had been under the impression that they were at the center of everything, and here was a man suggesting otherwise. It wasn't just a scientific theory, but a philosophical and even theological challenge to the status quo. Critics were quick to dismiss Copernicus's work, labeling it as heresy. Yet the seeds of change had been sown. Over the following decades, as more and more evidence began to support Copernicus's theory, his work started to gain acceptance. Copernicus's theory was a beacon of enlightenment in an age of ignorance. It encouraged people to question their beliefs, to seek empirical evidence, and to base their understanding of the world on scientific principles. His work also paved the way for other great minds, such as Galileo Galilei and Johannes Kepler, who further refined and expanded upon Copernicus's theories. They carried his legacy forward, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. The legacy of Copernicus is not just about his revolutionary theory, it is about the spirit of scientific inquiry, the courage to challenge prevailing beliefs, and the relentless pursuit of truth. His work has left an indelible mark on the scientific world, influencing generations of scientists and researchers. In the grand tapestry of scientific history, Copernicus's contribution stands out as a shining beacon of knowledge and enlightenment. His heliocentric model, once deemed heretical, is now universally accepted, forming the foundation of modern astronomy. Copernicus's theory sparked a revolution that would fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe. His legacy is a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and the relentless pursuit of truth. In his final years, Copernicus continued to observe the heavens, undeterred by the controversy surrounding his theories. As the twilight of his life approached, he remained steadfast in his passion, dedicating his every waking moment to the study of the cosmos. This unwavering dedication was a testament to his belief in a heliocentric universe, a belief that was met with scorn and disbelief by many. In the year 1543, Copernicus, then 70 years old, fell severely ill. Even as his health deteriorated, his mind remained sharp, his spirit undiminished. He continued to work tirelessly, refining his theories and observations until his very last breath. The aftermath of his death was a period of turmoil and uncertainty. His revolutionary ideas were met with fierce opposition, and his work was largely unrecognized during his lifetime. But as time passed, his theories gained acceptance, and his contribution to astronomy became undeniable. Nicholas Copernicus passed away on May 24, 1543, leaving behind a legacy that would forever change the face of astronomy. And Nicholas Copernicus, a man ahead of his time, dared to challenge the established order and forever changed our understanding of the cosmos. His early years, marked by a thirst for knowledge, paved the way for his revolutionary ideas. Copernicus dared to question the geocentric model that had been widely accepted for centuries, proposing instead a heliocentric model where the Sun, not the Earth, was the center of the universe. His theories, though controversial, would later be validated, solidifying his legacy and marking the beginning of modern astronomy. Despite facing opposition and battling health issues in his final years, Copernicus remained steadfast, his contributions to science living on long after his passing. So, the next time you gaze up at the stars, remember Nicholas Copernicus, the man who dared to put the sun at the center of the universe.